yeah, brother, here on the Please Me Fall YouTube channel. Month of Freedom. Open it. Open it. Dang, dude. They, they even stenciled on their logo, so we 100% knew. Guys, we didn't know what it was. This dude, now we know. It might as well say 427 on it too, because we know that as well. Guys, what we have in this box is the C7 Bald Eagle machine, which is real sad, sitting here on the, the, the rack. It's been here for what, three three weeks or a month now? It's a little dirty. It's dirty? She's looking ugly. We got her parts laying everywhere. Well, the boys at Texas Speed expedited out an LT1 uh, remake, rebuild. And what's inside here, guys, is Despite what the box says, it's a 427, not a 416. 16th. 416th. <laughs> True that. 16th. When we originally talked to Texas Speed, and they're like, what size engine do you want to do? And it's like, man, Ruby's got a 427. Leroy's got a 427. The Elko's going to get one. We, we just had to do it right. The L-Truck's got a 427. The L-Truck's got a 427. We had to do it right and go full 427 so that the entire fleet is as 427s. And it's just, it, that's the only way to keep the freedom at the maximum level we need around here. And so uh, what we got in this box is the engine for the Bald Eagle machine. We're gonna pop it open right now and take a look. What a rip, brother. Ooh, brother. Oh, dang. Okay. Oh, wow, them valve Breaking covers Breaking oil, gotta badass. love that. Dude, these valve covers are sick. They're like, they're, uh, they're these are billet valve covers for Specifically for their LTX heads. The guys that build the Dude. engines at Texas Speed are probably like, clean us again? God dang it. They're like, <laughs> brother, what's wrong with this guy? <laughs> All right, guys, so what we have in here is a 427. This is a re-sleeve engine, just like what uh, Ruby has in her or Leroy's original engine. So it is an LT1 aluminum block that they hone out and then they slide a sleeve into it. You can actually watch the entire build over on Texas Speed's website and over on Texas Speed's YouTube channel, they have a full layout of how they do it. Once we get this wrapping off, we'll show you some other goodies. They actually went ahead and, you know, I, I originally thought they were just gonna take my LT1 heads and port them a little bit, but they freaking put their LTX heads on it, which is like a super gnarly LT head and way more than I was expecting. But I mean, these heads are insane. Well, we got some merch there too, dude. Some schmedium. Oh yeah, they got some new shirts. Yeah, some women's shirts. Some, right? some women's shirts too, yeah, hell yeah. So I guess we gotta get this popped out, but uh, just a couple details, guys. It's got a Cali's Magnum crank in it. It's got CP Carrillo pistons in it. It's got the Texas Speed billet I-beam rods in it. The LTX heads, like I mentioned, which here's a little snapshot. They actually have an American flag casting on them because these heads are made in America, brother. And then it's got their new LT series bald eagle cam in it. So if you guys remember how we had the bald eagle cam for the LS stuff, well now they have an LT series of the bald eagle cam, which is cool because, you know, if you guys end up getting one of those cams for your LT, you know, helps freaking, you know, give back to our boys at Texas Speed who support us, you know, no matter what we end up tearing up. The heads on there. Dude, those head ports CNC. are massive. So this is actually an LT4 style head versus, you know, we have an LT1 that comes in the base model Stingrays, but, that Frankenstein intake we have has the bolt pattern for an LT1 head or an LT4 head. So that worked out really good. Not by plan, but brother, it worked out. But we're here. Here we are. Already got that delete kit in there. Yes, sir. You're gonna love that. So uh, yeah, no DOD, obviously. This engine is rated for about 1200 horsepower given the I-beam rods that are in it. I think uh, we're gonna rest a little bit around that 1050 mark, but the engine can certainly handle more if we want to spray it a little bit, you know. Look at the front of these heads. PRC LTX, brother. That's how you know it's legit. We don't have an LT six bolt block yet, but our boys at Texas Speed, you know, when they do their own castings, you have the ability to just do whatever you want. And they said, you know what? We're gonna make our own six bolt heads. I'm gonna really confuse people with t-shirt of the day. Dude, you're gonna have this video. double t-shirt of the day in this video. Well, LSX. No. I don't have an LTX <laughs> shirt. I don't know if that exists. Yeah, that might it not. Does. It's a t-shirt. Does it? Mm -hmm. Gosh dang, Coop. All right, so you but guys. He's a real LS guy over here. No, no, no. I LT mean, Coop is an LS guy. guy, but you guys get a bonus in this video. You not only get one shirt of the day, but two shirts of the day on this setup. So 
uh, we'll be back with you. you we'll see you when we got this engine out of the box and we're ready to go into the car but dang look at that freaking beautiful work there look at the, from our boys at Texas Speed. The breathers Speed. on them too are already all set up. Oh nice you can just put like a dash and 10. It's probably over in the and it's probably over. or something. Oh damn. See the machining marks and stuff dude. Sick. Look at that. Dude, you're freaking finger blasting the new motor. Eggs. That's sick. Those ports feel nice. Gotta love CNC life, dude. Look at that. It's so cool. They do that. They inlay the machine inlay and put the logo in it. Yeah, dude. That ready. These valve covers are fresh. Hell yeah. All right, guys. So James has rolled the Boxo cart over here, which means it is time to work on the C7. How's this unit been, man? You've been, you've been keeping these all in here. Yep. Whoa. I got some tools out. Oh, well, oh, there it is. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Got to keep an eye on this, dude. This thing has been awesome, guys. It's so satisfying putting the tools back in it. It has a nice like pop they do that into on place. So you put them back. That's that's probably why they do it. They, I swear it's got like this nice little just groove just right in there. So James has been killing it with the old. Boxo toolbox and boys today we are going to be reassembling the C7 at least getting the engine in for you guys so first things first though we got to put a clutch on the back of this thing then we can go in from the top slide it back onto the torque tube and be in good shape we got our monster clutch LT1 SC that's been sitting on here it's been on the car for I don't know, four or five thousand miles has been a little bit beat up not gonna lie but it has plenty of life in it to uh, to last for a while and it should hold a thousand horsepower pretty easily. That's so, had some warm spots. It's got some hot spots. Totally cool though. It's clutch. You know, they're designed for heat. I think it's going to be good to go, but we're just going to clean it up a little bit. Obviously, not the surfaces. Don't want to make the entire internet piss. Yeah, but the oil pan's on. Everything's sealed up. That thing is ready to rip. Slap this clutch on, which is always fun. You got to make sure you have every piece in the right spot so that it is balanced correctly because. You guys know this thing will be spinning 8,000 RPM sooner than later. Gosh dang, you gotta have that right. So just eight, just eight. What, what, what's your famous number? 8,700. 8,600. 8, 8, How long has it been uh, since you put a flywheel on something? Flex plate guy, not really. Big flywheel flex plate guy. guy, dude. We've we've been off the clutch game for a while now. Them safety glasses are pretty serious. What are them? Freaking heat wave visual, dude. Ooh, it's gonna make us six. We'll boat out over here, but yeah, James, blow out. James probably oh my. See, that's the problem. James just. I'll be honest. I may have stepped on them earlier. Actually, I still blame James. Blame George. I stole one from him. There you go. James, did you see the uh, the interview in the dirt race when I was like, James, that guy can only go in a straight line. Yeah, I seen it. It was pretty funny. I actually reviewed the footage. The only time you were doing something cool is when you were going straight, and that was off the jump. Yeah, dude. Put a jump on a drag strip. Watch me really shine. <laughs> we'll make that happen. What's your opinion on reusing bolts? Uh, I can tell you we reuse the bolts on Leroy every time. Really? Them things are tough. Alright. GM made them right. Yeah, I mean, dude, it's one of those things. Like, there's tricks to the trade of every... You every, one short? James has it. Uh -huh. In the right socket you know you can run it however you brung it and today we're gonna brung it with used bolts air impact thank goodness you're here he was starting to ramble <laughs> <he's speaking> <laughs> back in, dude i think the loctite's getting to him i don't think people understand that back in the day when we first oh, started filming with just... jeremy remember even james honestly remember when james he goes on those rings some of these are cross-threaded, so be careful. James still goes on rants. What do you mean? That one might be cross-threaded. Yep. The tightest tight. That one's cross-threaded, too. Three for three. You know what's fun about clutches? You get all that shavings on you and all the uh, clutch dust. It's called man perfume. Is it? Yeah. It comes with having a badass left foot. Just gonna let that one slide. Listen, if you don't run with these things in, it can be a problem. Chatters a little bit. It can be. Loud. Does it get noisy? It can get really noisy. 
go. That's a unit. Unit alert. Done deal. And then you want to tighten it with your quarter inch ratchet. Just firm, like spark plug on a lawnmower. All right, guys. So we got a not LS right here, doing some not LS things. So he's a big LT guy now. Big oh, LT generation. guy. Yeah. Hey guys, listen. A uh, couple things from the last footage you saw. For those of you who are professionals, you probably watched us put that clutch on without a pilot bearing. Good thing is we noticed, so we put a pilot bearing in it. So we had to take the clutch back off, put it back on. We got a balancer from Pro Charger themselves. Shout out to our boys at Pro Charger. And you can see here, brother. Thing's ready to go. Oh yeah, that thing. Hey Jeremy, thick. they they sent a ten percent overdrive. Does that have any play with our pulley size? 15, I think. This just keeps going up. So what do you think? Should we go to the four inch pulley on the on the Pro Charger? Yeah, yeah really a four think inch. Start up a little softer. I think it's gonna make all we have is easier than you think. All we have is four point seven five, four, three eighty five, and three seven five. And you went straight to the three seven five? Yeah. No, we went three eighty five. Okay. Thing is, if it just changed the pulley, it's not that simple. Well, if we do it now, it's simple. Do it now, it's easy. Do it once it's on the car and it's running, it doesn't make the boost we want, then we gotta pull the entire head unit off to change it. James convinced. Yeah. Well, this should, okay, so you don't Definitely have to be tough to do while the car is running. Okay. That is a little X factor, so. I mean, then we can run less time and more boost. <laughs> yeah, but I mean. <laughs> You make it sound so simple, you know. <laughs> the real world, it's like the real world. I'm only a weekend too. <laughs> We've all seen my track record. He just hit you with it in the real world. <laughs> Ow, dude! <laughs> like you live in some sort of McFarland tuning Ow. fantasy world. <laughs> it's kind of a fantasy. Hey, in the real world, uh, you know, it doesn't yeah. work like this. Hey, listen. So when you're a tuner for hire, I've been sending it for a while, oh. and I think we've done okay. <laughs> What do you think? It, we'll go off what you tell us to do. But I, honestly, I would probably just try and tone down the boost a little because if you're making, like you said, what, 12 or 13 before? 14 before. 14 before. I mean, really, in order to make the number what we want is RPM. You know, you're gonna make so much torque in that it's such a bigger engine. Now, it's a bigger engine, so it's gonna eat up more air for us. So the boost is gonna drop. However, you've offset that, I think, a little bit much. I got a little spicy with that extra boost there. Okay, okay. So that being said, I mean, dude, if we make 15 on this engine, uh, easy, a thousand. Oh, wow. Easy. Because this engine's easily going to do 500 NA. Just, okay. So we'll do the four inch fully with the 10% overdrive. I didn't know there was a 10% overdrive until just now. Yeah. So then we'll be in good shape. Have anything else to say to... I got to get back to my old cater tot, all right? Will you be uh, ready tomorrow? This guy. Uh, Jeremy, how long has it been since we've made some power? He doesn't really do that anymore. Uh, he's a big uh, Honda guy now. Big Honda guy. Big YouTube Honda guy. <laughs> Let's say your beard is looking good. Just got a little groom. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. nice. Just looking cute. Thanks. Are, are we going right in? Like motor mounts and everything are ready to go? Yeah, yes, sir. Well, we got to put the motor mounts on the motor. That's what I was... No, it's got to be like finagled in pieces while in the car. Oh. Fancy. Oh, it just yeah. took us apart, you don't remember? I might want to grow up a little bit more. Yeah, you're extremely close to that. You're like... Whoa, whoa. <laughs> he goes, go up a little more, he pulls it closer. That would have been James scratching it. I checked the clearance, boys. Would that have been? With a ruler or tape maker? Eyeball? Cracked a windshield with a converter once. Sad. Sad day. You did? Yeah. Wow. With a converter? Yeah. Did you have the converter hanging on the back? Yeah, it's bolted up to the motor still. Oh, nice. Spicy. <laughs> That's a risky maneuver. It was easy. You know, just came right out. But you made a hell of a mess. No, it was fine. Right. Start going back. All right, cool. We'll go to time lapse mode. So motor is in place, kind of. 
How you doing, James? Oh, you know, just like around. What you doing down there? For that freaking toolbox installed. This is the bumper saver. So, putting a motor back in a Corvette that already has transmission in it can be delightful because you have a subframe that's really in the way, and you have a torque tube that doesn't have a lot of space, and you have. But it's good to go. Your shirt is a different color of gray now. Yeah, After all that. Dude, yeah. Clutch light. If this was auto, funk, done. <laughs> Pretty easy. Yeah. You wouldn't have had to deal with the clutch. And the torque tubes all I mean the Yeah, all the all the stuff's in the back, yeah. Converters in the back on a auto vet. Yeah, well, you bought a manual, so here we are. Manual for life, brother. Alright guys, C sevens engine is in our LT1. X or would that be LTX? LTX is in. Thank you to Texas Speed for getting the Bald Eagle machine back on the road. Definitely pumped to see what Jeremy can do with this thing when he tunes it up. We all know she's gonna rip, but we got a lot of work to do. We gotta get this motor all mounted up. We gotta slap that pro charger on the front and uh slap the intake back on, a whole bunch of stuff, and then we'll be ready to rip. But for now, thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later. 